Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your FTM 400 XDR for crossband repeat. And we'll get to it right after this. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do not have the modem turned on for the APRS. So go into the main menu by holding the DISP button down. Go to APRS, go down to menu number five, and make sure that that's turned off. Then back back out. Now first crossband repeat I'm gonna set up for is simplex. You wanna choose your frequencies. So switch over to the VFO on both. I've already got the channel A set up for it. Channel B is gonna be 446.500. And from here, if you wanna have more privacy, you can set a PL tone if you wish. Now that you've got the frequencies you wanna use input into the radio, we're gonna go ahead and power the radio down and then bring it back up into crossband repeat mode. And the way you do that, you press and hold the display function and GM keys while pressing the power button. And you can see in the center, it says X repeater. WJ6F trying out the FTM 400 in crossband repeat. I hear you loud and clear and 6B and Y. Really appreciate it. Thanks. WJ6F clear. And 6B and Y clear. Now let's set this up for using a repeater in crossband repeat mode. First thing you have to do is take it out of the repeater mode so that you can start using the controls again. And again, you're gonna turn the power off and then press and hold the bottom three buttons, display, function, and general GM. and it no longer says repeater and X repeater in the middle. A couple of things you're gonna to wanna to do before you try and use crossband repeater on an actual repeater. One, don't ever try and link two repeaters because you can put them in a never ending loop until you kill your radio off by unplugging it. First thing you wanna do when you set this up to work on a repeater is go ahead and make sure your timeout timer is set up. On the FTM 400, the way you do that, you press and hold the display button, takes you into the main menu. Press config, scroll down to menu item number 14. And then press the top right knob and then choose whichever time you want. It'll go all the way up to 30 minutes. I like to use two minutes, then back back out. To find the repeater you wanna use, we're gonna use the MESAC. And then we're gonna again put it into crossband repeat mode by turning the radio off and again holding the bottom three buttons. And you can see we're in crossband repeat. So I'm gonna transmit on 446-500 using the FTM5 or the FT5 over to the FTM 400, and then it'll go out on 147.060 for the MESAC repeater. WJ6F testing. And you heard that it came back from the repeater. So we definitely know that it works. And that's all there is to setting up the FTM 400 for either simplex crossband use or using a repeater. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. 
If you'd like to help support the channel, there is a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. And thanks again for watching.